Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the 10th video as part of our series of power of reporting in Tally Prime. So in the last three videos, we saw the techniques related to the go-to, which I had mentioned that it is the delight of the owner and also it is the delight of the accountant. So starting from this video, couple of videos, we will explore the techniques related to stock summary, which is again a very important report for every organization who are maintaining inventory. Let us go to Tally and explore the wonderful feature of stock summary techniques. In this video, we will learn the techniques related to stock summary. So before we go to stock summary, important aspect we have to remember is that Tally maintains two sets of books of account. One is your accounting books for your financial purpose. And once you enable inventory, Tally is going to maintain the inventory book. Literally, Tally has two sets of books of accounts for your company. Now for you to access stock summary, if you are in the balance sheet, view this in detailed format and you have this closing stock here select closing stock and press enter you will go to the stock summary or if you are in the profit and loss account again to go to profit and loss account just come down here enter we are in the profit and loss account and we have this closing stock here enter we will go to the stock summary and the other way for you to access stock summary is click on stock summary since i mentioned that Tally maintains two sets of books of account. One important aspect that integrates your financial books of accounts with your inventory books of account is the integration of your stock value because the closing stock value has to get reflected in our financial statement. So that is where if you see in your F11 configuration, we have one is the accounting features that you would want to enable and start maintaining your accounting information. Now, this is your inventory information. Now here, if you notice the second option, which says integrate accounts with inventory by default, this is going to be set to yes. So this one option is the one which is going to connect your financial books of account with your inventory books of account. Otherwise, both these sets of accounts are independent which captures the information related to financial for your accounting and inventory detail for your inventory since this option is made to yes here we are able to view the balance sheet with the closing stock value if you see the stock summary has the closing stock value of 72 lakh 5709.41 so if you view the balance sheet just press alt g and type balance sheet and we will see that once you view in the detailed mode, we will see that the closing stock value is reflecting here from the stock summary book is getting fetched here. At the same time, we will also see that under profit and loss account, we will have this closing stock reflecting on the income side. Now, let us say you go and make this integrate accounts with inventory as no. Let's see what happens. So once I set this to no and say you will notice that your opening stock and the closing stock both the figures are not getting reflected in your financial statement the same way we will also see that under balance sheet the closing stock is now are non-integrated which means you are not pulling the closing stock value from the inventory books to your financial book but then how are we going to handle this just in case let us say that if the company wants to arrive at the closing balance of their own and if they want to incorporate that closing balance not integrating the closing balance value of the inventory book there is an option where you will now go and create a ledger called stock ledger so again we can press alt g go to create master and then we create ledger and then we say stock and this will be under stock in hand so once you create this you can now enter the opening stock value so let us say i enter it as 50000 as opening stock value except and now when we come to profit and loss account we will go to profit and loss account and we will already see that whatever the opening stock of 50000 we have entered is reflecting as 
closing stock now when we go to profit and loss account we will see the closing stock and the opening stock reflecting the same amount so how do we now enter the closing stock manually not considering the closing stock value from our inventory book we come here again to alter master so we go to alter master select the ledger that we have created stock and when we come into alteration mode we will now get this option where we can enter the closing balance on any specific day so literally if you want closing balance on a daily basis all you have to do is specify the date and enter the closing stock value manually as per your calculation so this way you can enter the entire year thing you can enter monthly weekly so let us say we want to enter this closing stock value so opening stock is 50 we have entered while creating the ledger master of stock so we will enter the closing stock as on 31st march 24 so we say 313024 and let us enter the closing stock value as 60 lakh we saw in our inventory book the closing stock value was 72 lakh 5000 and odd so let us see what happens to this value and what is the impact or implication of these values that we are capturing manually except now let us go back so we are in the profit and loss account so we had entered opening stock as 50000 and closing stock we had entered as 60 lakhs so this is the non-integrated stock value now you can always switch back to integrate the stock value through the f11 feature supposing let us assume that we go back to f11 feature and we say integrate accounts with inventory yes enter and you say control a and you will see that now tally is picked up the opening stock value of 73 lakh 25 thousand from the inventory book and the closing stock value is also picked up from the inventory book we had entered only 50,000 as opening stock and here we had entered only 60 lakh as closing stock so this way you can integrate your inventory book with your accounting or financial so why do you need this option this is a very very nice option that tally provides that in case you want to finalize your books of account and if you feel the inventory book the transactions that have captured has got lot of uh, negative values in the item and you are sure that you know this is not the right stock value that is present in the company under such circumstances you can use this wonderful feature of integrate or not integrate the books of account so you finalize your books of account and once you clean up your inventory books of account and find out what are the missing quantities or value or what are the errors if those things are corrected we can come back and again we can say integrate accounts with inventory and tally will start now recognizing the inventory value from the inventory books of account so let us now see couple of techniques that we can use for our inventory book or the stock summary so from here right away we can go to stock summary enter by default as i mentioned in our earlier reports by default tally is going to display top level groups that have been created so here if you notice the top level groups are two groups that have been created under the group of primary now under this there could be subgroups and under those subgroups you will have item so how do we now view those information so we have this button here we have already know for us to view any report in detail all you have to do is you have to press alt f5 so i'm going to press alt f5 and once i go into detail mode again if you recall in the balance sheet reporting i had mentioned that whenever you want to view any report in the detailed mode tally will explode only to the first level of detailing so quickly let us understand electrical domestic appliances is grouped under primary and these are subgroups because you see these names it is not in italic nor it is in bold which means that these are subgroup under the main group of electrical domestic appliances so you have this air conditioners fridge microwave monitor washing machine these are the subgroup so you can't further expand this by getting into the alt fi alt fi is going to give you only one level of expansion but there is a keyboard shortcut where if you want to expand the subgroup or further subgroup and then see the item the keyboard shortcut is just select the subgroup which you want to explode and view the detail of that group all you have to do is just press shift enter when you press shift enter you will now see the item which is in 
italic and it is slightly indented to the right side so blue star ac is the stock item under the group of air conditioner now let us come to microwave come down to microwave press shift enter and you will see the two items which are getting reflected here and if you see here under monitor let us expand this monitor so shift enter again so acer monitor has got negative balance of two numbers as closing balance so this is where the integration is going to help you until you go and rectify this now instead of going and selecting each subgroup and pressing shift enter it becomes time consuming so there is an option in your f12 configuration where you can set that option to say that expand all level in the detail format so what we do is first we go to alt f5 we make this as default report at the top level now you press f12 configuration under f12 configuration so we have this format of report so by default this is condensed you can set this to detail and you have another option once you enable this to detail you have another option which says expand all level in the detail format so set this to yes enter and you save this configuration and you see in the detailed format it is now exploded all the subgroup and the items under the subgroup and also the location so for example if you see here bajaj microwave has got under main location which is a go down under main location there is 51 numbers and under raw material go down there are two numbers so 51 plus 2 53 is the total bajaj microwave stock item that is available in the company in the upcoming session we will explore couple of buttons which has a new technique that you can apply for the stock summary report i hope this video would have given you a fair idea of the techniques that you can apply to leverage the stock summary report so in the upcoming session we will see more techniques related to stock summary so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much